Hi everyone, welcome back. If you are new, hi, my name is Margaret and welcome to my channel. If you'd like to join my family, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and also don't forget to hit the little notification bell so you are always notified when I upload a video so you never miss one. Today I'm going to show you my January favorites. So if you'd like to see what I loved in the month of January, then just keep on watching and let's get started with today's video. So in January, I have really been loving a lot of products. I have three palettes, um, three liquid lipsticks, a primer, um, a concealer, a bronzer, a makeup removing wipes and some other little goodies so why don't we go ahead and start off with the palettes so the first palette that i've really been loving is the bad habit beauty athena palette and this is a dupe for the huda beauty desert dusk palette and as you guys can tell these colors are absolutely stunning i really love them i think i even showed this video in my haul or I showed this palette in my hauls video so I will have an eye card right up here for you guys if you guys would like to see um, the eye look that I made with this palette obviously I had already done it before the video but you guys can kind of see like the power of the glitter like the pressed glitter is really amazing I love it so much so this is definitely one of the first palettes that I have really really been loving this month the second palette is, of course, the ABH Modern Renaissance. So this is what the palette looks like, and obviously you guys can kind of tell that I have been using this quite a bit. I use these shadows on this side primarily because I feel like they're very natural and they just look so pretty like as an eyelid color you can just use one on your eyelid and it looks so pretty same with these like really rosy toned colors I feel like they're really perfect for like Valentine's Day looks and I actually think I did use this palette for my Valentine's Day makeup look if you guys would like to see that I will have a link for it down below but this palette is definitely my second favorite I absolutely love this um I even have the subculture palette but I haven't played with it as much as I played with this palette so maybe sometime soon I will make, do a makeup video makeup look with that palette because I have been wanting to get a little bit more in touch with the olive tones so maybe I'll make a video with that palette and the last palette that I have really really been loving is of course the Bad Habit Beauty Artistry palette. This one is so stunning. I feel like you can use this palette for everyday makeup looks. Literally this palette is so stunning. I use this palette a lot just because I can use the taupe color and the brown, brown color and I can really really use like the shimmer shadows a lot as well but I'm slowly working my way to doing an olive toned color look so I'm slowly working my way towards this olive toned um, shadow I really love olive colors and it really bums me out that I can't find a perfect like look to do with an olive eye look because I feel like it would really make my eyes pop out so maybe sometime soon I'll like play with some makeup around and kind of see what um, shadow or what um, types of olive colors would work best with me um, so yeah but I really love this palette I think it's so pretty and it is $12 on Shop Hush and this one is the dupe for the ABH Mario palette I, I did have a video for it on I had a review video for this, so if you guys would like to see that, I will have an eye card right up here, and I'll have it down in the description area as well. So yeah, this is what it looks like, and it's so pretty. So moving on, and kind of talking about ABH. So earlier um, this month, I was seeing a lot of videos on how TJ Maxx and Marshalls had a lot of ABH products. So... I went to my Marshalls just down the street from my house and I found a set of liquid lipsticks from ABH and I was shocked like I was shook I was like oh my god I can't believe that this is here like it's so cheap so that is what I grabbed I grabbed a set of 
I grabbed the three set of AVH liquid lipsticks. Now it is retailed for $25 is what it says right here, but I got it for $15 so it was $10 off, which honestly isn't that bad because you do get three mini sized liquid lipsticks. and. I just love these colors so much so I have really been using them a lot and I just put them back in the packaging for the sake of the video but I absolutely love 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 them I think they're so pretty like really pretty colors and I'll even swatch them for you guys like this these are the three liquid lipsticks like they're so pretty um, let me see so this one is bittersweet this one is Dazed, which is what I have on my lips right now. And then this one is Hudson. So I'm going to swatch Hudson and Bittersweet on the back of my hand. Because you guys can kind of see what I have. Like my lips is Dazed. So, so the bottom one is um, Hudson and the top is bittersweet and then this is days um i really like these liquid lipsticks i feel like they're so perfect for like every day like not every day but like when you want to feel very glam i feel like these would be perfect for that i really love days that kind of reminds me of ashton plus it's also like a darker like reddish color like reddish orange i really 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 love it it's so pretty and the other colors as well are just as pretty so i'm really excited about this um i'm really glad i went when i went i also saw the aurora palette but it had been swatched so i didn't want to grab that and i also got a single shadow which i still got the packaging for it was in fawn which is one of their best selling eyeshadow colors so I was very excited about this, that little bit, like shopping experience that I went. But yeah, those three liquid lipsticks have been my favorite this month. And I just love ABH liquid lipsticks. I feel like they're really soft and creamy and they work very well with my lips. Like they don't dry me out. So I'm really excited about these or happy about them. The next thing came in this month's boxy charm, and it is the Pores No More Dr. Brandt Luminizing Primer. I feel like this primer has helped me so good because I I feel like when I wear this primer, it luminizes my face, and I don't really see myself. Um, I don't really see my pores as much as I would with any other foundation or any other primer, and. I mean, the only downside to this is that it's luminizing. I kind of wish it was matte because I do have oily skin. So I have to like powder my face a lot if I end up wearing this because the um, I have combination skin. So I wear, I have dry areas over here and then the rest is like oily. So I have to have a luminizing primer here. But then I also, my foundation is, is hydrating just because this area of my face is very dry so my forehead tends to get oily pretty bad especially with this it doesn't really help so i have to just put a lot of powder on my forehead and i, I end up looking very very cakey but then after a while the oil starts popping its way in so it ends up just looking oily anyways so that's the only thing i don't like about this is that it luminizes, but it also kind of like helps the oiliness, but I really, really love this. I, It does hide a lot of my pores, and that's the reason why it's in my favorites video, because I have really bad pores like here, here, and like on my forehead. It's just really bad everywhere, so the fact that that helps it out, just it's kind of the reason why I like really like it. The next thing is a concealer, like I said, and it is my Tarte Shape Tape. I got this in December for Christmas, and I just didn't really consider putting it in my my December favorites. I don't even think I did a December favorites just because I was in the middle of moving, but I didn't really want to put it one put it in there because I did get it at the end of December, and even though I did already own um like um the Tarte Shape Tape before, I still wanted to add it this month just because I used it a lot more this month. 
So this is my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Sand. I absolutely love this shape tape. It's definitely one of my favorites. I use it all, all, all the time. Like no yoke, no yoke. I use it almost every single day for when I when I go to work. I get ready and I use this. Um, and I think that's at Ulta and Tarte.com, obviously. The next thing is this Pure Cosmetics Bronze and Brighten um, Dreamer palette and it has the blush, the bronzer, and the highlights. Um, this came in this month's BoxyCharm as well. I really love this, especially the highlight. I use the highlight more than the bronzer or the blush. I think the highlight is just really pretty. So this is why it's in this favorites video just because I don't use the whole product but I definitely use the highlight religiously. It's very subtle and pretty and it just looks very 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 nice so i really love this highlight or the next thing that i loved this month are these makeup removing wipes that i got from marshall's they're the homegrown fresh picked detoxifying wipes with coconut and aloe and vitamin c and um they're not tested in on animals they're designed in the u.s um these are so these remove your makeup and they even clean your face i really like that they are bigger than normal makeup remover wipes i feel like makeup remover wipes are so tiny nowadays that you need like three to take off all of your makeup when in reality you should only be using one and this one this makeup removing wipes I only need one because they're so big like I'll show you guys like I don't know if you guys have any kids but these are kind of the size of like baby wipes and these are big like these are pretty big like you can definitely like just plaster this on your face and just take off your makeup with just one wipe like I feel like one wipe is enough of like to me for me to take off my makeup so that's why i really love this makeup removing wipes plus the fact that they were only four nine four dollars at marshall's was not a bad deal compared to the fact that um makeup removing wipes are like eight dollars and they only come with like 14 or 15 wipes where this one comes with 60 so i'm set on makeup removing wipes for a hot minute like no no joke um, I really love those and I think they have replaced my normal makeup removing wipes Although I can't say that because I still love my Neutrogena wipes <laughs> I feel like I will forever ever ever love my Neutrogena wipes, but those are definitely in second place The last two things I know you guys this video is short sh eh, This video is so short. I literally just didn't have a lot of stuff that I liked this month. I had a few, but not a lot. Um, so that's why it's going to be a short video, so I apologize. Um, the next thing is this Philosophy Sweet Creamy Frosting. And this is a shampoo, shower gel, and bubble bath. I use this more for a bubble bath just because I have a big tub in my new house. So I love to take a lot of bubble baths, especially when I want to relax. So I like to put this in there, especially because it smells so good. It says, a world-class, absolutely delicious shower gel, gentle enough for everyday use. And so yeah, it's really nice and it smells so good. It smells very vanilla-y. If you guys know me, I'm a huge, like... I love vanilla smells like the oh, it's literally my favorite anything vanilla y is my absolute favorite um so yeah this was definitely one of the other products that i loved this month and the last product which is going to be a little surprising because i wasn't a huge fan of this box was the amika triple rx shampoo like i said this came in my bless box and i absolutely was disappointed so disappointed in that box but this came out of it luckily and i absolutely love this sorry guys that's the second time i've been interrupted by snapchat i absolutely love this um shampoo it's 
up to here right now because I used it like two times and I like to lather shampoo on myself very very much and so um, it is almost gone so I'm gonna have to go and buy the full size because I really like this like I was surprised at how soft it made my hair like it was just so soft and so nice like I just really really love this it was very nice um, I'm definitely gonna buy the full size once I'm completely out of this I think they sell it at Ulta but yeah, that was the only thing that I really liked out of that blessed box because that box, let me not say, was not very blessful. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is all for this month's favorites. Let me know what you guys liked this month um, or the past month now that we're in February. Let me know what your guys' favorites were for the month of January. Um, let me know if you guys liked any of the products that I liked. Um, and please just comment down below anything. I love the communication that I have been getting in my past two videos because I love seeing everybody. I love seeing all of you guys talking to me. It literally makes me so happy when I get like a notification that I got a comment because I just feel like I'm connecting with you guys. <laughs> but anyways, enough of the sappiness. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Snapchat and Instagram because I am very social on those platforms. And we will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Mwah.